Hi, and welcome to DNC Digital. I am Clean Living reporter Patty Singer. Today I am with Dr. Catherine Zoni of UR Medicine Orthopedics, and we have a model, Stephanie, today, and we're going to learn about fitting a backpack, book bag, properly to a, a middle school on up high school student. Um, Dr. Zoni, what do you think are the three biggest factors that parents and the child have to consider when they're shopping for a backpack? So I think one of the first things to think about is size, the backpack. So you really, I'm going to turn Stephanie here. So you really want to make sure that the backpack, the bottom part, doesn't go more than a few inches below the child's lower part of their back. You want to make sure that it's not any wider than their torso or really like any longer. So there shouldn't be like a big piece over the top here. I think the second thing, I'm going to turn you back Stephanie, is going to be how do you distribute the force of what's in the backpack through the chest. So nice wide straps are very helpful because that can distribute a little bit better. If there's a chest strap that goes across, that'll have the chest will have some of the weight. And then if there's a waist or a hip strap, you can have some of the weight be falling in these lower areas that are bigger muscles and help distribute that force. Um, if you notice, a lot of times kids with very heavy backpacks are oftentimes leaning forward. It's basically to counter pull the weight that's pulling them back. And you have a you know, young child, a growing child, that could put a lot of strain on muscles, a lot of strain on bones. Um, the third thing that I think that's important is what is actually in the backpack. So you know, we, as physicians, try to say, well, go to your locker frequently, make sure you're taking things out. It's really difficult. And you know, kids have a minimum amount of time to change classes. That's decreased, I think, over the more recent years. So you know, they are carrying a bunch of books. Even if they're, you know, the school has a lot of the curriculum on a tablet, that can be heavy, along with you know, other things like gym clothes or lunch or you know, things like that. Because if they don't have the opportunity to go to their locker, they may have to carry all their supplies through the day. So a good general rule of thumb is that whatever your child's weight is, the backpack shouldn't be any more than 10 10 to 15 percent of that weight. So if your kid weighs about 100 pounds, their backpack shouldn't be much more than 15 pounds. Otherwise, it's putting a lot of strain on their growing frame. And that's a loaded. That's back, a loaded, loaded backpack. backpack. Yeah. Okay. So, so one of the things I think to think about, like leather, leather backpacks, you know, were in style for a while. They're pretty heavy versus something that's a lighter material. That's probably going to be more useful. Okay. Um, a lot of times we see somebody slinging it over the shoulder, one, one shoulder. It sounds like what you're saying is to have the, the wide straps are here for a, a reason and use them both. I, I would recommend using both shoulders. I know things are going to vary in fashion. When I was in high school, you know, carrying on one side was the popular way to do it. But I would say trying to di distribute that force equally. Same goes for like messenger bags or briefcases for adults. Having something where you can distribute that force more equally is going to be best in terms of ergonomics. So we see, and, and what I see a, a lot of times, a, what I think of as a book bag is a, as opposed to something like this, which looks like more of a, of a backpack and has these hip pads. It's, you don't see anything around the lower, uh, you know, for your hip in what you, is sold as sort of a book bag. Is that just a, the fashion, the style, and it would all, sort of a hiking day pack? not be suitable because of then how you're going to pack the thing? I think that's a great pack that you're holding up. Um, it is typically, I would say, less common. So if you don't have something like the waist strap or the hip strap, looking for padded straps, like shoulder straps, I think is important. And then sometimes the back of the back, like that's actually up against the person's back, will be padded as well. So I think that would be helpful to take some of that pressure off the area as well. Okay. How common is it for kids to then be complaining of back pain that you may not know where it comes from. Does it come from the backpack? Does it come from posture? Does it come from video gaming? How do you, how do you tease out what the issue is? I think that's difficult, and kids are growing as well. I think some people have proposed, well, let's do rolling backpacks, but then you have the issue of how do, how do they get up the stairs? Do they trip people? You know, are they getting in people's way? So I think you know, there's been a lot of different types of uh, ideas of try to how to decrease what's in the kid's backpack, but I think good size, limiting how much is in there, trying to switch things out as much as possible, and making sure that to try to distribute the load as much as possible would be important. Okay. I'm Patty Singer, DNC Digital, with our backpack model, Stephanie. Thanks you for coming in. Dr. Catherine Rizzoni Thanks. from UR Medicine Orthopedics. So uh, when you're shopping for that, for that backpack, keep wide straps, weight distribution. If you can find something with a hip belt in mind and try to minimize that back pain for your growing child. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for having me.